Hello friends, this is Milani Hachinsu. Welcome to my channel, which is all about enhancing what you have. Today, I am going to review Tony Moly Foot Peeling Shoes Mask. It comes in a light blue envelope that has both English and Korean instructions mentioned on it. It claims to transform rough and calloused feet. Formulated to gently exfoliate skin with natural fruit extracts, easy to use foot peeling mask. Achieve soft and supple feet without salon. I bought two of these masks to try it on different occasions. I will be using one in the video today. So, before using the mask, my feet are pretty dry and I have some scars here and there. Then I also have some calluses. My skin around my thumbnail is quite hard. It is a tear opening envelope. The product has pleasant Tony Moly signature smell to it. The masks itself are made of really good quality plastic and comes with two stickers. These large pouches are shaped like socks that we have to tie at the ankle. It's quite transparent and there is foot peeling solution in each pouch. The socks need to be pulled open from the top and each sock contains an additional sock in it that is filled with the foot peeling solution. It is cool though because even if I will tear up the socks, this plastic pouch will still be protecting it. The solution didn't spill while I was wearing the socks which is great to be honest. The main ingredients in this mask are a mix of AHAs and BHAs in high concentration which I think aids in peeling the skin. The solution feels really cold to touch even though it's summer. I'm 5'7 and my feet are around a US 41 size and these pouches or these masks are still fitting for my feet. The stickers ensure that the socks stay in place while we can work or even rest without worrying about the mask moving. The masks are a little slippery so I wouldn't recommend moving in it. So I will see you guys after around 1.5 hours that's recommended. And I am back after 1.5 hours. You can see that this liquid is so strong that it made my nail polish bleed. Oh my god, look. The plastic itself is very firm and is of high quality. I kept on feeling uh, this wet and cold type of sensation on my feet the entire time. Now I'm going to remove it. My feet feel extremely extremely cold after removing the mask you guys can see that my feet look wet as well the solution on my foot feels really slimy to touch now as i'm washing my feet after removing the mask my feet feel really cold like i have menthol rubbed on my feet after washing my feet uh, my feet look quite pale and bright. The pink color under my feet is gone. My skin overall feels quite clean, tight and like leather. And you guys see these weird leathery wrinkles? These have appeared now. So after 5 days, I feel like scratching my feet all the time. My feet have started peeling and my skin is quite rough overall. A lot of dirt particles get stuck on my feet as I walk on my feet as they are quite rough right now. I have injured the top of my foot because of scratching a lot. My entire foot is peeling today. If I walk barefoot, I feel like I am walking on sand because of these 
peeling skin the peeling has started on the lower part of my feet but on the upper part there isn't anything happening much on day 9 my feet are peeling aggressively from beneath new skin has emerged on the places that have been peeled but as far as the top part of my feet is concerned i had very less peeling uh, but like i had peeling but it wasn't as aggressive as it was on the lower part the peeling uh, went on for i think 15 days and my feet are smooth now but not perfectly smooth the scars on my feet are still there it wasn't very helpful for my calluses but my feet are much better than it was before using the peel the hard skin around my thumb is better but it didn't do much for my calluses around ankle or my thumbs under the thumb so uh, overall i'm going to rate it three by five and i think i'm not going to recommend it to anyone